because the ball's always moving. Make sure you're connected and there's no fingers in the way. Carry them, bring them all with you. Okay. Let's go, bruh. Let's go, bruh. We felt, and I personally felt, that we have a huge responsibility to do more for the city, The Cradle Beach does. Uh, the city of Buffalo and Western New York has always been very good to us. That's how you get to be around for 125 years. And when you sit and you look at the city and the challenges that are going on with the city schools and the challenges that are going on with the city residents, the third poorest city in, in, the, uh, in the country, and you have this beautiful site of 66 acres, 25 buildings, I felt we needed to do more. We needed to be part of the solution. Is three-fourths closer to zero, one, or two? Project SOAR is a school-based tutoring and mentoring program. We're in three Buffalo Public Schools this year. So Monday through Friday, every day, we're in the classrooms. When it's in school, it's all school focused. It's academic focus. It's focusing on obviously math and science and English. These kids are coming to school and they're participating in the same things that kids all over the country participate in. They go there and they learn about ELA, they go there and learn about math. But what we aren't taking into account is what they're coming to school with. That these kids are coming to school disadvantaged before they even step into a classroom and open up a book. They don't have the same resources that, that kids that don't live in poverty have. Our SOAR kids will come and check in. Uh, we have a classroom on site at the school building, so our six staff will be there. They'll mark off attendance. So we know daily attendance uh, when the kids are in school. From there, each staff member are assigned 10 children in, uh, for a 10 to 1 ratio, and those are their children for the entire school year. So you can imagine the bond that happens with 10 kids when those are your kids for strictly for, for the next nine months. And actually, they're your kids for the next 12 months because you're going to serve them in the summer as well. And so when the day starts, depending on the needs of those children, they push into the classroom. So those SOAR staff will go right into the classrooms, working under the direction of the teacher in the class. Uh, so if one of our students is struggling in math, or a couple of our students are struggling in math, we will pull them aside and tutor them in math and help them with their math, uh, whatever subject that they may be working with. So you know the common denominator, this needs to be eight. Lunchtime comes and then every day we have a select group of kids, we rotate and we'll come and have lunch with our staff. It's a, it's a real non-academic time, it's really that's a big part of the mentoring time. So we're talking about how are things at home, you know, what are you doing this weekend, things like that. So really building that relationship, like a big brother relationship. Kids leave their lunch and they go back to their classrooms after lunch is over and then our staff then go back into their classrooms with them as well. Uh, so that's a full day. We offered to start after school program for our SOAR kids and any other kids in the school that wanted to come at no cost. So our staff has offered to stay till 5 o'clock and so we run after school there as well. We don't even tell people that. Uh, most places just do after school. We do in school, after school, weekends, summer, six weeks in the summer back in the city, 10 days here at camp as well. Once they begin in third grade, we work with them until they graduate high school. So it's a 10 year commitment. We don't want to do things different than what the culture of Cradle Beach has been for so long. We want to incorporate that into our program and we want the kids to come out for the summer and enjoy those times with staff members who have been doing it for 30 or 40 years. And then we want to bring that culture back to the school and implement that back into our program. Um, we're not reinventing what Cradle Beach is, we're just extending it and making it a, a part of everyday life for the kids that are part of Project SOAR. Project SOAR with Madeline, she is wanting to do more work, learning more things, and she said she's interested in science now because the Project SOAR, she didn't like it before. She's just happy to see the people that are involved, like making that connection to the mentors in the program and doing the, the camping during the winter and during the summer. The kids are doing better in school. They're happier to be there. They're becoming more involved in their community with learning what's in the community and helping out in the community. It helps the kids in so many different ways. Little things, you see them happy to see each other and they're, I've never seen anyone walk off a bus or any, come out from anything upset or they're always just happy. 
and it's making our lives better. When it's out here on the weekends, it's very much skills that we focus on are skills that those children will need and those students will need to be successful in life. Skills that you don't always get in the classroom and aren't easily duplicated within the classroom. Problem solving skills, creative thinking skills, team building skills, conflict resolution skills, skills that all employers are looking for. Good, use teamwork, use teamwork, use teamwork. Yes! Our sixth grade group now, now that we're in our fourth year, these are kids we've served for three years, are incredible leaders in that school. The principal will tell you that, the teachers will tell you that. These kids weren't leaders three years ago in third grade. Uh, they were tough, challenging kids to work with. Now, because of the cumulative effect of being with them multiple years, the results are really beginning to show in attendance, behavior, and course performance. They're scoring higher on the state ass assessment exam uh, for math and ELA. They're scoring higher in all the subjects in school than other kids that are not in the control group. And these were not kids that were 80s or 90s. These kids are mostly kids that were mid-70s, high 70 averages. All the research is showing that if you're going to really turn around the lives of a kid, of a student, you really need to be with them on a pretty regular basis, on a daily basis. So the model of our program is also a very successful model that's being used in other cities across the country as well.